Hey, it's Lizzie, and welcome to the Game Maker World One Game Tutorial. Um, in this video, we're going to go over um, player setup, and um, uh, here we go. So, um, first, I'm going to add an object and call it Object Player. I'm going to uh, add my player sprite, um, and uh, as for movement, um, I have a little script here I made. Um, so, loading that, player move, and it's pretty simple. Um, okay, so my sprite player is not animated. It's it's just kind of simple. I mean, it rotates. I mean, the player image angle changes, and that's how she moves. Now, don't ask me why you have to do this, but you do. Um, you have to actually make the player or a monster or whatever face this direction for the image angle thing to work. I don't know why, but it does. So, yeah. Do that, and um, basically this function called if keyboard check, and uh, and it goes over each of the keys as well as no key. So in in the brackets, um, the speed is always set to five, and the direction is set to the appropriate um, key. Um, and believe me, I've tried it with the um, without rotating the player sprite, but it just doesn't work. So, okay, and um, that's it for movement. Um, so when when uh, if you wanted to draw a player health bar, um, then it's uh, well, you kind of have to. Um, draw the player because when you draw a health bar, um, it s somehow um, gets rid of the sprite. So um, what I'm going to do here is set a mask. Um, block one because that's just a square um, that helps with collision better. And then I'm going to add a draw event. And I have a um, script called player draw. Okay, so up here, draw um, sprite extension. And um, you need registered for this, and we really need registered for this whole tutorial. But anyways, um, so it draws the sprite player. The summit. The summit sub image is always zero. Um, then the sprite is drawn on the X and Y position of um, this object. And there's X scale which is and Y scale which is just set to one image angle, which will always be the image angle of uh, the object sprite, which is um, this sprite. So it's still imperative to have this as set as the sprite. Um, and uh, set the color to white and the alpha to 1. And um, so the, the, um, it asks it said what the directions are. So um, these are all the directions from the step event where it defines the player movement and it sets the image angle to the direct the appropriate direction. Now really, you don't really need that. I mean you could always just do uh yeah, this is kind of a incomplete script in that sense. All you have to do is type image angle equals direction. There. Simple as that. So um to uh, and then to do the health bar, um, what I have here is a uh, rectangle. I draw a rectangle, 
and um, you might want to copy this. Um, I mean, type this up in your object. Um, but the x1 position is the starting and the starting um, x and y1 is the starting y and then you know x2 is the ending x and y2 is the ending y and it's an outline and automatically it's uh, black so basically this puts a black outline around this health bar here so um, all the um, uh, x um, and y uh, coordinates are the same as the above, and um, the uh, kind of what you do here is so for the amount um, you got um, <laughs> kind of confusing to explain. Um, you have well, basically this makes it. This little code thing here uh, makes it so your um, hit points and max hit points can be anything, but it'll always be the width of 100 um, drawn on the screen, which is really useful. Um, so basically, it's hit points divided by max hit points in parentheses times 100, and uh, that works. Um, so the first color is, the back color is red, the uh, min color is uh, lime, and the max color is lime. So that just uh, draws a, uh, a health bar with a red background and it will always be lime, um, the uh, part that shows the health. So um, the direction is 180 and you do show the back, it's set to true, as in one, and show border, one, true. So, you know, type that all up, and um, that pretty much explains that. So, I'm going to add a create event, and just add a couple variables here. Hip, hit points equals, I don't know, 25, max, um, hit points equals 25 and is uh, that's pretty simple we'll probably have to add some more variables later on in the tutorials um, and in the step event and a uh, if hit points um, is smaller than or equal to zero brackets so message you have died now uh, later when we get into battle stuff I'm going to change that a little but uh, yeah I think I'll go more into detail about that um, when I get into battle stuff so really kind of what's important is if hit points is uh, larger than max hit points hit points equals max hit points and this uh, little code here um, makes sure that the hit points, for example if you're eating food and it adds hit points, doesn't go over the max hit points so it's uh, has limitations, which is what you want. Um, okay, so that's pretty much the player stuff. Let's uh, test it here in this room. Sorry, this uh, takes a while. I mean, I have so many sprites and stuff. Eh, don't worry, does it every time. And as you can see, 
The health bar is drawn over the player. No matter what direction she goes in, it always stays above her head properly. And, hmm, well, it doesn't quite seem centered. I guess I can fix that in a sec. But, um, you know, you might want to play around with the X and Y coordinates a bit. Um, and, uh, so yeah, that works. Um, well, thanks for watching.